Oh man, I tell you, the worst photo shoot I ever had. That's right, you're watching me, Dre EMIP TV. Thanks for coming back, man. Please watch that video prior to this one bef uh, before you watch this one because that's what I'm gonna be talking about. I actually did a photo shoot with me and Deborah out in the park, and it was my first time really handling the camera again in a year and a half. So it was more of that, just get the feel, you know, get the whole, you know, a whole thing. You know, Deborah was new to modeling, and you know, I grabbed her, went to the park, I got my cameras, and I even forgot some gear. Uh, brought Deborah along. She was my model, and we, we filmed it. So why is it the worst photo shoot I have ever done? Because nothing came out as planned, okay? I thought it looked pretty good, but when I got back and put those photos in Lightroom, I was like, <laughs> Deborah, we gotta go back out. <laughs> we gotta go back out to the park because this ain't working. But what makes a good photo shoot for me is if I can come back with at least one to two shots. This is my, I know a customer would want more than that. And so it would be totally no good for a client. But for me, if I can get that shot that I can put on a website, hang on the wall, I'm good. That's me. So let's go ahead and check out the photo shoot. I'm gonna show you some of the prints and why it sucked. And don't laugh, okay? Don't laugh. Remember, it's been a while. It's been a while. And I have made a critical mistake and I'll tell you about it when we hit the screen. So this is what I got. All right, so here we go. We are in Lightroom and here's a picture of Deborah. Here's the background that I was looking at that you wasn't able to see when I shot the video. And you can see I was talking about the layers of trees, your post ground, remember the post ground? Anyway, so these shots right here were taken before I actually shot the video. We wanted to kind of test the, the location out and we was just taking a couple of shots. You know, there she is. I'm checking out different things. That's when I whispered to the camera, hey, I think I like the natural shot. The light shot's the best. You know, so as you can see, like here we had uh, a hard sun. I mean, it was like the middle of the afternoon. So, you know, we got into the shade and you can see the shade line behind her um, to get rid of that sun. It's one of the bad things about shooting in the daylight. You definitely need to find shade or your subjects are gonna look like that. All right, so find yourself a shade spot when shooting in the sun. Anyway, so, you know, that looked good and I think we was like, all right, I think we're ready to do this. Let's go. So we're, 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 we're taking these shots. I'm not sure when the actual camera was rolling. I think up to this point. And then I think we started filming somewhere around here. So anyway, but these are the shots, right? So and they're going and they kind of look all right. Most of these are unedited. They are edits, but they're not full edits. Um, mostly just crops. And that's one of my faves from the day. These are the daylight shots, okay? Um, you could see like here, you know, sometimes Deborah has a nice shot, a nice, nice smile we talked about it. she thinks it's her fault that you know that maybe she didn't pose well but that's my fault that's the photographer's fault because i have to pose her i have to let her know exactly what i want she doesn't know what i want she doesn't know what i'm looking at she needs my direction to kind of tell for, for her to know exactly what i want and you've seen in the video i was kind of doing that but i guess i don't know what the hell i was looking at anyway here's a nice shot and actually, this shot is actually comes from this shot. I wasn't really feeling the arm straight down, the hands. I, I didn't pay attention to this. But you know what? I like this. I like this part. So cropped it in. Boom. Got that shot right there. Um, so here's some other shots, you know, just kind of circling through. And then here's when we went to flash. Okay, remember I said uh, take a shot of your background. Get the background the way you want it. And this is about where I wanted it. And then I think I lightened it up to about there. There's Deborah's elbow right there. Okay, so, so anyway, here's our first flash shot. Now, here's where it gets, this is the big mistake. Sync speed, I messed up. I totally messed it up. I was using the D610. My sync speed is 200. I thought it was 250. I set the camera for a shutter of 250. I'm trying to look up in here and you can see up here in the right hand corner says shutter. 250. So if you look at all these shots, my curtain was closing on me. See the light up here? See down here how it gets dark? That's my curtain closing on me because I was a 50, 50th of a second over sync speed. 
very disappointed. You have to know how your camera works. You have to know your camera settings and you know it's been so long i forgot my sync speed so i have the d7000 and d610 d7000 is sync speed two two one two fiftieth of a second d610 is one two hundredth of a second so all right so there we go <sighs> got that out the way here's another shot uh, deborah doesn't know what to do here i didn't give her direction she's just like what do you want me to do <laughs> Deborah's right behind me. I'm not making fun of you. She's laughing. I'm not making fun of you, Deborah. This is my fault right here, okay? You looking at me like that is my fault. <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, so you see the light right here. Besides the pose, you see the light, and then you see how it gets dark down here. My shutter is closed on me. Bad sync speed. So let's continue to move on, you know, all these that with, uh, with the flash are gonna have this darkness on below. So that's the last I'm gonna talk about that. So we're moving on, and I'm just not liking none of it. This is one of the better ones, but and, and also I want to point out the specular highlights. Like if you look on her face, you, you can see the first of all, you see the flash. Um, I think I might have been a little too on with the uh, flash. I'm not. And, and of course, it was it was hard light. I'm telling you, don't shoot women in hard light because this is what you get. It just they just look hard, you know. And women are soft. You want to make them look soft. If she was an athlete, maybe we could make her look hard. But she's soft, and I'm telling you, she's soft. <laughs> no hard light for Deborah. All right. So anyway, here's a shot. You can see, look at her knees, how it's reflecting the, the, the light. It was just, I probably could have turned it down. And that was another thing I didn't like. The sun was totally, now when I shoot with the, the flash, I'm totally just setting it up, taking test shots and looking. I'm peeking at it, trying to get it the way I want. I couldn't see nothing in that screen. It was so sunny. The screen, it might as well have been no screen. It was, I needed one of those hoods. So I wasn't able to adjust my lights the way I was. If you look at her hair, you remember I had the uh, rim light and you could see some of that shooting around her. Uh, I'm kind of messing up here. See like her arms right there. You can see that rim light right there. Yeah. So the rim light's looking pretty good. I even think the rim light was, probably could have been turned down a little bit. Couldn't see it in the back of the camera. I was full blast, uh, full power. Uh, I, I kind of know by distance in the sun that I probably need a lot of light here So I just go ahead and went full power and you I, I couldn't notice it in the back. So here's uh, Shooting with flash I lightened up the background here um, There we go again, I think I deleted that yeah that picture is flagged for deletion next picture <laughs> So here again, I am adjusting for my background again, right? And we're gonna shoot some more shots Right, if you look into the eyes, you can see the flash right there. Come on, focus. There it is. There's me. All right? I'm in there. I'm in those eyes. Even when I'm not shooting, I'm in those eyes. I keep looking that way because she's back there. <laughs> feel free to come up to the camera anytime you feel like it. Anyway, so here's another picture. I really like this picture. I think she's got a sexy look here. But... I don't like this picture. I don't know what it is. I, I, I think I like the expression. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like 50-50. And I want to show you, remember in the video, I was talking about neutral density filters. Now, if you could see, all of this background is, I'm kind of zoomed in, is basically in focus. I don't want that. But, you know, you see I got my shutter speed at 250th of a, one, two fifth, one 250th of a second. <sighs> I couldn't go higher than that, so therefore I had to open up my, uh, close my aperture down. Okay, so when you close your aperture down, you're gonna start getting all kinds of stuff in focus. So if you put them sunglasses, that neutral density filter over your lens, you can shrink that aperture so you can help blow out the background. All right, so that's why I needed that because the shots that I was going to get, I knew the background was gonna be totally in focus and I didn't want that background in focus like that. So I'm moving on. This is one of the better shots with the flash. Right there. And here's another shot right there. And uh, this is one of my favorite shots with the flash. And one 
of the reasons also I like shooting flash in the daytime, see that sky, see how I was able to capture the blueness. I was able to capture the sky as is. Now, if I go quickly here to a natural day, see the sky's blown out. This is a natural daylight shot. You can't expose for both, right? So let's expose for the sky over here and then add flash to fill in Deborah. And that's why I like shooting with flash in the daytime. This shot, it, it's just a little too, I shouldn't have used hard light. If I had an umbrella here, I, I would have liked this shot right here. I still like it. You see, I got stars down there. Anyway, so that's the look that I was getting for. Also, if you could, I was trying to blow the background out, okay? But I wasn't able to do that. So look at that tree, look at the fly right there and that tree, yeah, I see everything. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on. I'm um, still shooting with some flash here and uh, more flash. I think that was like a test shot. Look at that dude back there. See, because he's in focus. Well, he's out of focus, but we see him. All right, so back to the natural light. Now, me, Deborah and I, we, we shot after the video as well. I was like, I want to get some more shots. Remember, because when I'm shooting for the video, I'm not really trying to create the best shots. I'm just kind of showing you guys. We're just going, making a video. We're making a YouTube video. We're trying to make it quick so you don't click away, okay? These videos have to be quick, unlike this one, which is getting long. All right, so this is another one that natural daylight. I, I like the shot. Um, I, I like how the background is kind of blown out, but uh, uh, you know, I like it. And we just move on. I'll just show you the rest of the pics. Boom, we was just kind of shooting with uh, natural daylight. I don't think I went back to flash, I'm not sure. Oh, click, next, next. And close this out, I wonder if I can make this bigger. And most of these shots are about the same. This shot I'm about to show you is my favorite shot of the session. Right there. That picture right there, you can hang on your wall. I have two different edits. If, can you see the difference here? The background's changing a little bit. So there you go. That's one of my favorite shots of the day. I think it came from, uh, that's another one. And here is my second favorite shot. This one might be on my wall, on a canvas, hanging over my bed. So if any other women came in there, they'll be like, you have a girlfriend. <laughs> that's a joke. There's no other one. No, no. Just her. Just her in the picture. So these are my faves. I, I, I'm going to show you my faves in the end. I'm going to keep it going. Um, I really like that one. I wish there was some. This reminds me of like water in the background, boats and stuff like that. Looks like she's just chilling and uh, keep it moving. These are, like I said, natural. These are natural shots. Oh, you know what? I got some more flash. I don't know how. Here's me exposing for the background again, right? And then looks, there's some more flash shots going through them, going through them. Right? Oh, look at that. Way too much rim light going on right there, you know. Um, moving on, moving on. Look, I was shooting at the ground. Look at my, my light, exposing the ground in front of me. Look at right there. I don't know if that's the rim light behind fell on the floor because I did have that problem. Um, there we go. Moving on. This is one of my favorites too. Okay, so... This shot, after the video, we decided to do some shots by the tree. Um, this is Deborah's favorite shot, is that correct? Mm -hmm. This is Deborah's favorite yeah. shot, she just said yeah. And um, so we did a couple by the tree. Um, you know, yeah, I like that shot, like it. Well, you know, I should say that, like that shot, then back to this shot, I like that. Uh, I was trying to capture something, you could probably see it, but I kind of missed it. Probably should have just took a couple more clicks and I think I would have caught it. Um, uh, you know, so you see what we was trying to do. I, 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 I was by this tree and this vine and I was trying, I saw something in my head and I'm sitting here trying to have her do different poses and I just couldn't capture it. I think I came close to capturing it at the end here. Um, these are all nice shots. Remember, most of these shots are straight from the camera. And I'm kind of looking around my camera to see what I got. And this is, um, 
one of the shots I think I was trying to capture. I wanted the tree and this vine. I didn't, I kind of didn't quite get it right. I like this shot. Deborah is kind of one to ten. Um, five. five. <laughs> I give it a, I give it a seven. All right. So anyway, there's the shots. Let me go ahead and just show you my favorite shots of the day. That one. Yeah, that's the flash shot. That one, I don't even know why it's in the faves. I don't know why that one's in the faves. That's not one of my favorite shots of the day. Um, that one, you know, remember they my favorite out of the group, but not necessarily the best. They the best of the group, but not necessarily something I'm proud about. But, you know, so if, if you kind of understand, you think I you know where I'm coming from? Okay, good, yeah. good. She knows where I'm coming from. That means you know where I'm coming from. Uh, moving right along. Moving right along. Remember, this shot right here is my favorite shot. That's my favorite shot. I love that shot. I posted it on Facebook immediately. Um, and here's my second favorite shot. Yep. So that means to me, I, you know... I got some shots, you know, I got some shots that I can hang on the wall. And that is what I, I, I like a shoot when I can get something, but I don't like a shoot when I can't, it, what I envision doesn't come out, right? So I come out and put a light around, but what the F, especially when I notice the sink speed, oh, it's just like, oh man. So things I would have done different, you know, I, I would have stationary that, 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 that light. You know, instead of hand holding it, got a try. Actually, I did have a tripod, but forgot some gear and um, you know things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do it again, and you know we're just gonna have fun with it. So bottom line is these pictures, we had fun. Look at that smile right there. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun right there? Look at this. She had fun. So did I. So anyway, there are the shots. All right, so there's the photo shoot, and you can see why I was very disappointed. Sync speed, I can't believe I didn't know the sync speed of my camera, and that's only because I got two cameras. So I got the D7000, which is 250, but the sync speed for the D610 is only 200. Gives you that darkness in the back, so I totally botched that. I should have brought my umbrella. I need soft light. You, you don't shoot women with hard light. Unless they're athletes, okay? It didn't work out. Okay, so I should have brought my umbrella. I should have maybe had my, my, uh, my light on the stand so I can get consistent light, all right? I was kind of holding it, and I did have it on the stand at first, but I didn't bring my little angle bracket, so I couldn't angle it right, so I had to, you know, go ahead and do the voice-activated light stand. That's me. Um... So different things like that. We're gonna go out and do it again. I did have fun. I did get those great shots. And um, hey, we're gonna do it again. I'm practicing. I'm practicing to get to where I was. <laughs> so anyway, but thanks for watching. Thanks for you know following along with me, right? And and shooting. I can't wait to do it again. And the one thing I did, one thing that was for certain, I had fun. I had a good time. And if you go back to one of my first videos, I said make photography fun should be fun and that's why I don't do a lot of technicals on my on my on my on my channel because that's not fun fun is shooting that's fun all right so thanks for watching everybody stay tuned for the next video where I talk about photography anyway hey Deborah's here you you, you want to get on camera hi ah oh, she's just gonna say hi all right so there it is thanks for watching we got Deborah saying hi in the background <laughs> <laughs> EMI PTV's out um